The banach tarski paradox claims you can take a solid 3D ball, like this P, cut it into a finite number of pieces, and rearrange those pieces to create a ball the size of the Earth. It claims you can do that without stretching any of the pieces, without adding new material, and without leaving any empty gaps. Let me explain using an imaginary dictionary called the Hyperwebster. It contains every single possible word that you can spell using the English alphabet. Not just real words, but every single combination of letters. Apple, Bapple, Capple, all the way to words that are like a billion letters long. Now I want to separate this book into 26 separate piles. Pile A has every word starting with A, like Apple, Ababple, a capel. Pile B has Bapple, Balloon, and so on. Let's look at Pile A. It contains infinite words. And now I'm going to perform a mathematical operation called a shift. I'm just going to delete the first letter, A, from every single word in this pile. Well, what's going to happen? The word Apple loses its A, it becomes Pupple. The word Ababple loses its A, it becomes Babble. A capel becomes capel. Here's the magic. Because the original dictionary contained every single possible combination of letters, when you delete that first A, your pile transforms from being a pile of every word that starts with A or B or C, and now each individual pile is now the set of every letter combination. In other words, by deleting the first letter, pile A, pile B or pile C will have transformed into the entire dictionary. So we took a slice of the book, just the A words, we shifted them by deleting the first letter, and suddenly that slice of the book became the whole book. A part of infinity is equal to the whole. Banach and Tarski prove that you can do this same thing with the surface of a sphere. sphere. Instead of words, we look at paths. Every point on this sphere can be named by the instructions to get there from the center. Left, right, up, down. Just like the dictionary, we group these points. We put all the left points in one pile, all the up points in another, and then we shift them. We simply rotate the left pile to the right. Mathematically, this deletes the first instruction. And just like the dictionary, the piece expands to fill the voids. The left pile becomes the whole sphere. The up pile becomes another whole sphere. We have successfully cloned the object.